Good morning and welcome. Our gathering song is number 832, We Come With Joy in Jesus Christ, number 832. is being offered for the repose of the soul of Gustav Anthematen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, hope and light of the sincere, we humbly entreat you to dispose our hearts to offer you worthy prayer and ever to extol you by dutiful proclamation of your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. A Pharisee in the Sanhedrin named Gamaliel, a teacher of the law, respected by all the people, stood up, ordered the apostles to be put outside for a short time, and said to the Sanhedrin, fellow children of Israel, be careful what you are about to do to these men. Some time ago, Thutis appeared claiming to be someone important. And about 400 men joined him, but he was killed. And all those who were loyal to him were disbanded and came to nothing. After him came Judas the Galilean at the time of the census. He also drew people after him, but he too perished, and all who were loyal to him were scattered. So now I tell you, have nothing to do with these men, and let them go. For if, this evil, for if this endeavor or this activity is of human origin, it will destroy itself. But if it comes from God, you will not be able to destroy them. You may even find yourselves fighting against God. They were persuaded by him. 
After recalling the apostles, they had them flogged, ordered them to stop speaking in the name of Jesus, and dismissed them. So they left the presence of the Sanhedrin, rejoicing that they had been found worthy to suffer dishonor for the sake of the name. And all day long, both at the temple and in their homes, they did not stop teaching or proclaiming the Christ Jesus, the word of the Lord. Let's be to God. One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus went across the Sea of Galilee. A large crowd followed him because they saw the signs he was performing on the sick. Jesus went up on the mountain, and there he sat down with his disciples. The Jewish feast of Passover was near. When Jesus raised his eyes and saw that a large crowd was coming to him, he said to Philip, Where can we buy enough food for them to eat? He said this to test him, because he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, Two hundred days' wages worth of food would not be enough for each of them to have a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what good are these for so many? Jesus said, Have the people recline. Now there was a great deal of grass in that place. So the men reclined, about 5,000 in number. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed them to those who were reclining, and also as much of the fish as they wanted. When they had their fill, he said to his disciples, gather the fragments left over so that nothing will be wasted. So they collected them and filled 12 wicker baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves that had been more than they could eat. When the people saw the sign he had done, they said, This is truly the prophet, the one who is to come into the world. Since Jesus knew that they were going to come and carry him off to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain alone. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Pope St. John Paul II suggested that the opposite of to love is not to hate, but rather to use, to instrumentalize or objectify somebody else for selfish or self-serving motives. And we see that clearly laid out in our gospel today. 
The people are seeking Jesus, first of all, because he healed their sick. Also, later on in the gospel, we know that they are going to come and make him king because he was able to meet their material needs. They were seeking him, and they were going to enthrone him, not because he was good in himself, but simply because of the good things that he could give to them. And this should come as a challenge to us as well. And we should ask ourselves, why is it that I seek the Lord? Is it for himself, for his own sake? Or is it simply for that which he can give to me? What is the bread that I'm seeking when I come to the Lord? Is it his body and his blood poured out for me? Or is it something else? Perhaps uh, the mending of a relationship, the healing, the, the sense of security or satisfaction. Is there some other aspect of the relationship that I want him to bestow upon me? Perhaps even most surprisingly, we can seek God, we can seek this relationship with the Lord simply for eternal life. Well, eternal life outside of a relationship with Christ is also seeking him for something other than him. It's, seeking, it's making a, an instrument or an object out of our Lord in the relationship with him. And so we see his response in the gospel is that he will not allow himself to be enthroned for false motives. He runs away from this relationship because he doesn't want to be some means to some other end. Now, in that question that we challenge ourselves, do I seek the Lord for his own sake or do I seek him as a means for some other end? The answer for all of us should be, well, kinda, because we're a mixed bag of motives. And there's always a hint of selfishness in all that we do. I mean, if you're honest with yourself, as I am honest with myself, I'm always more likely to do the things that make me feel good rather than the things that make me feel bad. I'm more likely to be in a relationship with somebody who, who I enjoy their company rather than somebody whom I don't. And so it, it might be true as well with our relationship with the Lord. Well, how is it that we purify those motives? How is it that I can begin to test my intentions? Well, I think we get the answer there in our first reading. There we have a litmus test with the apostles. Because those were the same apostles that not only rejoiced when their bellies were filled with bread, but they were also able to rejoice in the midst of suffering. There are lyrics to a contemporary Christian song that says, Is he the Lord not only of the mountains, but also of the valleys? And this is how we can test our own motives. Is he Lord not only when my belly is full, but also when my belly is empty? not only in those moments in which the, the gifts and the graces are being showered upon me, but even in those moments of desolation. Do I still come to him, worship him, bow down? Do I even thank him for those moments? Please stand. Let us present our needs to God, whose love for us is everlasting. For the church, may the Lord continue to guide her in proclaiming his love through their daily lives. Let us pray to the Lord. For leaders throughout the world, may the wisdom of God lead them to act justly with the needs of the most vulnerable in mind. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who cannot practice their faith openly, may they be upheld and strengthened through the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. For all in our community who are struggling with ill health or injury, may the Lord bring them healing. Let us pray to the Lord. For the repose of the soul of Gustav and Thamaten, for whom this Mass is being offered, and for all who have died in the light of faith, may they come to share in the baptismal promise of new life. Let us pray to the Lord. For all of those petitions written in our Book of Intentions, and for all of those petitions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. God of abundant love, you know our needs. Listen to the prayers of your people and grant your help to those in need. We ask this through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. As the table is being prepared, we'll sing number 941, Shepherd of Souls, number 941.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and John our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Our communion hymn is number 951, All Who Hunger, number 951. Lift their 
invite those commissioned to bring communion to the sick and the homebound to please come forward. We send you into the community to meet the needs of those who cannot be with us. You are bringing and carrying the body of our Lord Jesus Christ. May God bless you in this ministry and those who visit. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We offer up on this second Friday our holy hour for vocations, and in a particular way, remembering John Triola, our pastoral seminarian, who will be ordained to the transitional diaconate tomorrow. So asking for the Lord to pour out an abundance of grace into his heart, to free him from every anxiety or discouragement, to give him all the graces necessary to be a good and faithful shepherd to God's people. So we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, we offer up this most holy rosary as a spiritual bouquet to your mother, asking for her aid and accompaniment in this hour of adoration. As we reflect on the luminous mysteries, the great mysteries of vocation, may you inspire the hearts of men and women whom you are calling to serve in your vineyard. Raise up pious, courageous, and selfless men to be holy priests, 
so that your son's sacramental ministry of salvation may be continued in the world, especially through the sacrifice of the Holy Mass. Awaken reflective, vigilant, and meek men to be religious brothers and monks who constantly offer the sweet fragrance of contemplative prayer before your majesty. Summon humble, brave, and devoted women to be consecrated religious sisters and nuns, spouses of your son's most sacred heart, and examples of his mercy in our midst. Call pious and serving men to be permanent deacons who preach the gospel with zeal. We beseech your clemency, O Lord, begging for the outpouring of your Holy Spirit upon the face of the earth. Hear our prayer and set souls aflame in the fires of your love. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. For the intentions of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. For an increase to the virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The first luminous mystery, the baptism of our Lord in the Jordan. The grace of this decade is an openness to the Holy Spirit and an increase in wisdom for discernment of vocation. Lord Jesus, at your baptism in the river Jordan, the Father declared you his beloved Son. The Holy Spirit descended upon you and you began your ministry of reconciliation. Please open the hearts of the men and women you are calling to the priesthood, diaconate, and religious life. Help them to know their identity as beloved sons and daughters of your heavenly Father. Give them the grace of wisdom to hear your voice and know your will for them so that they might go out into the world and preach the gospel. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus. The second luminous mystery, the wedding feast at Cana. The grace of this decade is an increase in Marian devotion in the hearts of those called to the priesthood, diaconate, and religious life. Lord Jesus, in your great love, you have given us your own mother as our patroness and guide. In the Blessed Virgin Mary, we see the most perfect example of Christian discipleship as she obediently completes the will of the Father and trustingly follows you to the foot of the cross. She is the protector of priests and religious, the great exemplar of our Catholic faith. We ask you to place a deep love for the Blessed Virgin Mary in the hearts of those called to the priesthood, diaconate, and religious life. May she be their constant companion on the journey of holiness and a protector against all the deadly snares of the enemy. May her immaculate heart enfold all those who are consecrated to the Lord so that they might be devoted servants of your divine will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. 
Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The third luminous mystery, the proclamation of the kingdom of God. The grace of this decade is an increase in apostolic zeal among those who are ordained or consecrated persons, and that they might always be humble enough to experience continued conversion in their hearts. Lord Jesus, with great valor and tireless zeal, you preach the gospel, healed the sick, and comforted the sinner. You are a good shepherd who never wearies of serving the sheep. Grant that those called to the priesthood, diaconate, and religious life may be given the zeal of your sacred heart. May they be tireless in their desire for the salvation of souls. Safeguard them from the vices of laziness and mediocrity. Give them a steadfast spirit that settles only for the glory of your church and the sanctification of your people. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fourth luminous mystery, the transfiguration. The grace of this decade is an increase in the virtue of courage and perseverance among those called to ordained and consecrated life. Lord Jesus, with dauntless courage and unyielding perseverance, you embraced your cross and took it to Calvary, disregarding your own welfare, seeking only the salvation of your people. Give this same courage and perseverance to your ordained and consecrated servants. May they never succumb to cowardice or be conquered by their own frailty. Rather, may they find confidence in your awe-inspiring love and preach the truth of the gospel with unwavering conviction. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fifth luminous mystery, the institution of the most holy Eucharist. The grace of this decade is an increase in Eucharistic devotion within the hearts of ordained and consecrated persons. Lord Jesus, there is no greater gift you have given us than your body, blood, soul, and divinity in the Holy Eucharist. This sacrament is the source and summit of our Catholic faith. May it also be the center of life for all those ordained and consecrated to your service. Give us, holy priests, who celebrate the Mass with reverence, obedience, and piety. Deacons who serve at the table of the Lord with pure hearts and respectful dispositions religious who contemplate your face in the Eucharist with vigilant spirits. May all those you are calling to a vocation of service in the church be leaders in the faith who guide us in Eucharistic devotion by their own examples of prayerful adoration. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor vanished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech thee that by meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ, our Lord. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, our mother. To thee do we come, before thee we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy, hear and answer us. Amen. Now let us join together as we pray the litany for vocations. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, hear God, the Father of heaven. Have God, the Son, Redeemer of the world. Have mercy. God, the Holy Spirit. Holy Trinity, one God. Holy Mary. Holy Mother of God. Holy Virgin of Virgins. Saint Michael, leader of the heavenly host. Saint Gabriel, messenger of God's divine plan. Saint Raphael, companion of the journey. All you holy angels and archangels. Saint Joseph, protector of the holy church. St. John Vianney, patron of parish priests. St. Aloysius Gonzaga, patron of youth. St. Alphonsus Liguori, patron of vocations. St. Charles Borromeo, patron of seminarians. St. John Berkmans, patron of altar servers. St. Maria Goretti, patron of teenagers. All you holy men and women, be merciful. Be merciful. Through your mercy, through your kindness, through the fervent prayers and sacrifices of your people, through the power of the holy sacrifice of the Mass, through the intercession of all the saints and angels, through the sanctification of the family, through parents being generously open to life, through the example of priests and religious striving for holiness, through a renewed sense of fidelity to our Catholic faith, that young people might seek to live the truth of Christ, that young people might seek God's will for them in their lives, that young people might hear the call to give their lives for the mission of the church. That all priests and religious might be renewed in the spirit of the new evangelization. 
that bishops might be strengthened to be courageous shepherds. That we may always zealously pray for and promote vocations. That those who are being called to be priests and religious might respond generously. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. The harvest is great, but the laborers are few. Let us pray. O God, who chose the apostles to make disciples of all nations, and who, by baptism and confirmation, has called us to build up your holy church. We implore you to choose among us, your children, many priests and religious who will love you with their whole heart and will gladly spend their entire lives making you known and loved by all. Through Christ our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.